a single man could take a nation out of the darkness of illiteracy into the light of knowledge, out of wrong traditions into the light of worship. He started his life as a trader, and it ended without leaving financial heritage except of the heritage of knowledge which he spread over to all people. He did all of this only for the sake of fulfilling his message, which is to rescue the nation from the harshness of illiteracy and negativity to the light of knowledge. Throughout history, we could trace back how his heritage contributed to changing people of clash into people of solidarity. No doubt that he is the only man who could change nations over all these centuries. The first witness, Heart, my choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others, but he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular levels. The second witness, George Bernard Shaw. Muhammad was the spirit of mercy. His influence has survived times and ages. None of the people who lived with him have through all forgotten him, nor will those who have lived after him. The third witness, Gandhi. I became more than ever convinced that it was not the sword that won a place for Islam in those days in the scheme of life. It was the rigid simplicity, the utter self-effacement of a prophet, the scrupulous regard for pledges, his intense devotion to his friends and followers, his intrepidity, his fearlessness, his absolute trust in God and in his own mission. These, and not the sword, carried everything before them and surmounted every obstacle. The fourth witness, Le Bon. Muhammad met all the harming and torturing with patience and endurance. If men are measured by their great achievements, Muhammad would be the greatest man ever in history. The fifth witness, Tolstoy. There can be no doubt that the Prophet Muhammad was one of the greatest reformers who have rendered great services to human society. It is sufficient to say that he guided an entire nation to the light of truth and made it inclined towards tranquility and peace, and preferred a life of asceticism and prevented bloodshed and human sacrifice. He showed them the way to advancement in civilization. This is a great achievement that can only be made by one who is given strength. Such a man is deserving of respect and honor. The sixth witness, Goethe. I have searched throughout the history for a role model to man, and I found none but the Prophet Muhammad. 